Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full House Games. You're joining us for round three of Modern Madness, and we have Ryan Thistlethwaite, excuse me if I've pronounced that wrong, uh, and he is playing Gorio's Vengeance against Chris, who is playing Blue Red Tempo, which we saw before. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, unfortunately, due to some technical issues, they are going straight into round two here. Um, so, uh, Ryan has won the, the first game and is a, round, uh, a, a game up against Chris. Squirrel is an interesting deck. It's, a, it's different to most modern decks in the fact that it can win as early as turn two, which is something that Wizards had said they don't want in modern, but... I guess Goyos is inconsistent enough that it doesn't matter, I guess. But, yeah, um, I, I can see that. But a lot of the time, it loses quite heavily to Graveyard Hate, which is why I think Ryan plays on Through the Breach as well in the main, instead of the Fury of the Hordes version where you just go to town with Grizzlebrand. Or yep. He still plays the Emrakuls and the Grizzlebrands. But yeah, definitely. You definitely want those it's, Emrakuls. Mm, yeah, it's more of a grindy matchup in comparison to the typical... Um, way that you play Goy's Vengeance where you just try and win on turn 2. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, that being said, there is also the Infect deck which can win on turn 2, but uh, it does have quite a difficult yeah, time that's, doing that's that. So like that's got to have like... I, th I triple think that's mutagenic why... Quadra uh, mutagenic, mutagenic growth. And your opponent to have no removal. Yeah. And the thing is, um, Goy is still a creature combo, which is another thing which Wizards said they wanted all for mod and they want the combo decks to be creature based, so... Why Storm still exists? Doesn't win before turn, before turn four, really. It can, but uh, it's it's it doesn't consistently win before turn I think, four. I think I think as long as you land an Electromancer or a uh, Pyromancer on turn two, you can win on turn three pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, but then your opponent can't disrupt at all, or um, yeah, it d it depends the. The more resilient you make it, the slower it gets. And I think Seething Song, the ban of Seething Song a few like years ago, is proof that Storm can still exist even with a slightly worse version. Yeah, fair enough. And so looks like Brian is Ryan just showing off a full land hand or of lands. Uh, oh, Jataxian okay, Jataxian probe. probe, sure. And so it's lands and a lightning bolt. So it he's doesn't playing. seem like something you want. Uh, maybe he's just preparing to kill whatever um, whatever can be played. So, lightning bolt. Uh, I guess. I guess at this point you are. The blue red deck is in fact playing the aggro deck, and he's missed his second land drop, which That's is not, not something you want to do. No. Especially in a matchup where um, you are playing the fast clock, and it, he has a blood moon in hand and a serum visions and a counter flux. But uh, you can't play any of those spells. Yeah, this is unfortunate. So Ryan's hand of all land is actually looking much better as he can just keep getting further and further ahead. And he's look looking if he wants to counter the Jataxian probe. I don't know, double... Or play something in response to the Jataxian probe, I guess? Yeah, that could definitely be it. I don't know what he could play. Uh, is it Char? He, play he could be playing Is it Char? Because yep, you wanna you wanna put your two cards into the graveyard, or you could be countering it. Yeah. Or he's putting it into play tapped, and the fetch was for no reason. Do you think it's really worth? Um, well, if he's got if he can't draw, countering. he clearly drew the Jataxian probe, and he's already yeah definitely yeah, draws. Probe. So at this point, if you can, it's Jataxian probe. Ah. Oh, okay. Sure. He just cracked his fetch for um seemingly very little reason. No, um, quite sure. Oh, but he has Goyos and Grizzlebrand in hand. It's a lot of speculation from us. And yeah, not a lot of. Yeah, so basically Ryan just needs to hit his Is It Charm here because he has all the land that he needs to play, and that's a Besaju. Yeah, who shelters all on the end there. Yeah, so pretty good. His Goyos will be uncounterable. Mm-hmm. And now I can tap Black Mana with out. And the Urbog is definitely what you need here. So, and Is It Charm is gonna end up landing that. Uh, Draw to discard to. So Draw. do you do you really want Emrakul here or do you want? Um, oh, he has an, I know he has Grizzle a Grizzle Brand in hand, and he has a Liliana. That must be That's from the sideboard. Pretty good. He definitely has everything he could ever hope for right now. So 
is he going to pay the two, or is he just... I guess his opponent could have packed in the game, but I guess you win anyway if your opponent casts that. So he's yeah. getting back Brizzle Brand. He's probably just going to hit for seven. Gain seven life. Mm, may not draw seven. Oh, no, he's definitely, he's definitely drawing seven. And... Two, three, four, four five, six, six seven. seven. Yep. And... He can... I can't see him losing at this point. He's... No. <laughs> um, all he has to do is discard another Grizzle Brand into the graveyard and have time And keep going. yeah. And he can... He or can have even through have the breach. charm. Yeah. Or through the breach and, and into that Emrakul. Yeah. yeah. That's all he so really needs. He's got a lot of options. He may have also discarded an Emrakul to shuffle it all back in if he wants. But I don't, I don't see him doing that. He looks like he's discarded at least the Liliana. Because your opponent's discarding anyway. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think this is Ryan's game here. Yeah, just I know. because well, your opponent's you on one land. You can't keep a one land hand. Yeah, that was that was risky, especially if it was a red land and all your spells, are, most of your spells are blue. Uh, I guess he was tempted by the blood moon. Blood moon, but in reality. It, it wasn't yeah. good enough. Your opponent can technically win through red mana anyway, or through the breach, so... Yep, exactly. I've, there's the through the breach, and we'll probably reveal an Emrakul, and that will be yep. the game. So that was a fairly uh, lopsided game. Uh, I, absolutely. I, I, guess, I guess that's how it goes when you keep one land hands with Jutaxian yeah. probes. So uh, if the past, like, five videos have been a message, don't... Keep a one land hand. Never goes well. It's a terrible decision. It's always a trap. I think the only reason I could see myself doing that is if I was playing Manalus Dredge and I needed it to cast some spell. And then you're playing it wrong because you've got a land in hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us for round two. That was a very, very short round two. <laughs> But uh, we'll see you in... Sorry, round, round three. Uh, we'll see you in round four for the finals. 